My name is Keisha Rogers and I am the Democratic nominee for the 22nd Congressional District. I've been a long-term activist uh, with the economist and American statesman Lyndon LaRouche uh, and what we have clearly demonstrated throughout this campaign is that the American people are now sending forth a mandate to the, to the institutions of government that they are not happy with what has uh, what has come forth from this administration and that they want Obama out now. What we have exposed from uh, this health care reform is that it is explicitly modeled on the 1939 policy of Hitler's Tiergarten IV. And you look at what Hitler represented. This is before there were concentration camps, before you had gas chambers. People uh, were being denied adequate health care. You had a policy which was called the useless eater policy. Uh, if you were too old, if you had various illnesses, if you were mentally uh, impaired, then you did not you were you did not deserve life. This was Hitler's policy. And this is what we're seeing going on today. You're not just talking about an imperial policy. You're talking about a conglomerate of international banking institutions uh, who are working to control, working to control and stop the development of sovereign sovereign nation states. That is the challenge and the enemy that we are up against right now. If people don't understand that the real fight is not Democrats versus Republicans, but the fight over the idea of what has dominated the policy shaping of the United States and the global economy for quite some time. And that's the, that's the issue of globalization and free trade. And Imperial Britain, as you call it, has been the dominant force of destruction of sovereign nation states, of pushing a policy of free trade and globalization. But protecting ourselves against the British uh, doesn't mean you know, necessarily everyone going out and grabbing their muskets and getting ready to fight in a war. But it means that we have to develop a culture, once again, of embodying the principle of what a real republic means. And the Democratic Party has destroyed itself and if we're going to actually, if they're going to survive, uh, then the only option that they have is to actually adhere to the demands of the population, of the constituency.